Rebel Moon, Part 1, A Child of Fire, is a 2023 American sci-fi space opera film by Zack Snyder. It was released by Netflix on 21 December 2023. The story is centered around a settlement of farmers on the edge of a distant moon that finds itself under the king's gaze, a tyrannical military force that wants, well, everything. Quora, a stranger living in their midst, becomes their only hope if she can gather up a band of warriors to mount a defense or rebellion against the mother world forces. The good. It carries the signature of a Zack Snyder production, delivering a visual feast of epic cinematography with breath, breathtaking landscapes, heart-stopping action sequences, and of course, slow motion scenes. Cora, played by Sofia Butella, shines as the heart of the rebellion. She is fierce, vulnerable and badass all at once, literally carrying the film with charisma and raw emotion. The Bad It is a predictable movie that follows a formulaic trope. It's giving Star Wars meets Magnificent Seven. First, there is an intergalactic mother world empire which crushes all rebellion beneath its heel and then there is the quest to round up a ragtag band of warriors with different skill sets and motives to fight against the bad guys. The multi-character band of rebels has so many people that never quite get screen time nor particularly showcase their skills after the initial introduction or recruitment to fight for the rebels. The plot spends more time on side quests than on the character and world building which leaves you with characters who might be interesting but not particularly memorable or relatable. The world building feels rushed or unfinished as Korra travels across different planets to recruit her champions. None of the places stand out or seem fully furnished. Can't remember a single name. The Ugly. The slow motion scenes are impressive, but that does get a bit overdone. We don't need it popping up every other scene. Cutting them down would significantly reduce the 2 hours 16 minutes of running time. Unlike Star Wars, Rebel Moon is rather dark, not much in the way of comic relief and has violence and threats of sexual assault that can be triggering. The mother world forces seem to be particularly brutal just because they can. Final thoughts. It's not a great movie and it's not a bad movie. Part of it are enjoyable and other bits tedious. The sequel, Rebel Moon Part 2, The Scar Giver, is scheduled for release on 19 April 2024. Fun fact, Zack Snyder initially pitched the film to Lucasfilms in 1997 as a more mature take on the Star Wars universe. Have you watched Rebel Moon? Are you a fan of Zack Snyder's signature style?